Okay, let's dive into the demo. I'm super excited to show you everything that's new about Scribe 2.0 and how I'm personally using Scribe to create my content on a weekly basis. And now I, I set up Scribe to be my personalized AI content agent that basically works 24 seven in the background for me to come up with new post ideas that are highly personalized to me and what's working on the platform. So you see the new dashboard here. And if you've been using Scribe before, some of the things are already familiar, but you will definitely see that there is a lot of new stuff here. So we have now a new section that is called weekly personalized post ideas. So what's going on here is that you can really set up your own AI content agent that works for you in the background. And you, we have three components that you um, can configure to make it highly personalized to you and what you're trying to uh, get out of LinkedIn and by posting regularly. So we have on the one side, the LinkedIn post and your LinkedIn profile. You can see here on the top that I've already connected my LinkedIn account here and it fetched all my posts, my complete history, like from day zero where I started my first post. It has my LinkedIn summary and everything that I've been doing on LinkedIn. So it already has this context and you have to do basically nothing. You just have to uh, connect your, with the Chrome extension, your LinkedIn profile, and it's like in, done in one minute. Uh, the second part is that we create a content strategy. We'll jump into this in a minute. Uh, and we go through this together, how I set it up for myself. So this is really about making um, the content that I'm doing goal oriented because we could just post every day and still achieve nothing. But what we are trying to do is have purposeful content so that we are trying to get um, the exact results that we um, are setting up here. And the third part to make it super personalized is a knowledge base. So whatever you're doing, um, this is uh, the part where you can add all your expertise, like everything that is specific about you or your company or your business, um, whatever you're like um, doing in your everyday work. So it can be presentations, it could be your website, Notion, um, or whatever you have, recordings uh, or text documents. And you can throw it in here and we will take it and analyze it to make the content even more specific. So let's dive into the content strategy first. So We'll set this up from my perspective, so as a co-founder and CTO, and uh, I will um, guide you through this, how I'm setting this up for myself. So the first question that we ask, and every of these questions is, um, we thought about this as making the, the content as relevant for you as possible. So for example, here, my primary role as a founder, my content will be completely different towards or like compared to being a freelancer or a team lead or an employee. So I'm selecting a founder here. Um, next, uh, my main goals when I'm creating content. So right now for us, our goal is mainly revenue growth, company awareness and career opportunities. So let's go with this. Uh, who do I want to reach? So this is like my, um, my target audience. Um, right now, mainly new clients and existing clients and also partners. Um, this could be very different uh, for you, and um, this will also change over time, probably, depending on the stage of your company or what you're trying to achieve right now. So this is not set in stone. You can go back and edit this at any time. So you should really try to think of what do I really want right now. So next step, uh, my main areas of expertise. So um, my main, like my areas of expertise and what I'm trying to do on LinkedIn is uh, product development, uh, entrepreneurship, it's uh, B2B SaaS and uh, UX design. These are mainly my four uh, content pillars um, that, I, that I have like the most expertise in and that I feel comfortable talking about uh, on the platform. So next is the posting frequency and schedule. So um, it's for us, the most important part about posting is the consistency. So it's not about you have to do seven posts a week to be successful. It's you can also post like once per week. It's completely fine, but it's more about being consistent over a very long um, time. So for example, we all at Scribe have been posting for over a year, like every single week. Um, so for us, it's really important that you set up a goal that you commit yourself to. So for example, here, uh, a very good goal is, be, is to like have three posts per week and like distribute them over the week, like here, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You can also go with like the defaults here, like select like two, 
we would say like Tuesday, Thursday, and you can also have your uh, time slot. For example, um, we say 9 a.m. is a pretty good time to post because there are a lot of people active on LinkedIn and you will probably get more engagement compared to posting late in the evening. So let's go with this. And now what Squipe is doing, it already has a lot of context about me from this onboarding and also my whole LinkedIn history. And it helps me to create my positioning statement. So um, you can edit this if you if you want to change it. Um, and this will also probably change a little bit over time. Um, but we are trying to help you to get this uh, down and to have like the first 80% uh, of this. Um, let's go with this. And the next part, uh, I'm super excited about this one. This is also brand new. We are now creating the content strategy for you. So you see the four main pillars from the Squared Method, the personal, educational, organizational, and promotional. And it already um, selected the post formats for me that based on everything that I gave it, um, says, okay, you should probably do this split of uh, post formats. So it's like two personal posts with personal milestones, hot takes. I have three educational ones to establish myself as a domain expert, two organizational and two promotional. And I can also, like, if you're now wondering, okay, I have no idea what like, an actionable guide is, you could just click on this and you will get an instant preview of like what would be high performing post examples on LinkedIn. Um, what are like, how, does the, uh, how um, are these posts looking on the platform live and what is working um, if you do this correctly? And uh, here's also like explanation on how this, um, like um, how your selected goals and the post format, how this is like overlapping. So let's go with this uh, selection here. But if you want to go deeper, you can also uh, go into these. There are, there are a lot more post formats um, and you can go really deep if you want to and configure this exactly how you would like to. Um, you can also see um, there's like this little crystal ball here. Um, so for five of these formats, I have like a weekly post that is enabled. So this means for these post formats, the AI content agent will be able to generate the weekly post that is for me. So this is really cool because I know, okay, for these five formats, this will be, uh, this can be done automatically. So it will try to come up and brainstorm post ideas for me every single week. And for the others, for example, company wins um, or launch announcements, um, these are posts where the content agent doesn't create posts for me because they are so time relevant. For example, a company win or launch announcement is something that is very hard to predict into the future. So we're not trying to like predict the future for you um, because there's like a very high uh, chance that it's just hallucinating or wrong. So we're just, uh, we, we know where it's very good and just you know, generate a post for us where it makes sense for you. So let's save and finish this. And we have a content strategy overview where you can always get, go back to and edit all the settings if you feel like you need to adjust this. And you can also track uh, how on uh, on time you are, like what's your progress right now. So, for example, we have the activity targets and the post format targets um, and a monthly activity where you can always go back to and see, for example, uh, I can see my launch announcement post that's automatically categorized um, and I can always um, see how it's going right now and adjust. So let's save and exit. And you can see it's now in the dashboard, uh, the new content strategy. And the last part is the knowledge base. So the third part that we need um, is to upload something so that, um, or like give it a website or whatever, so that Scribe has some additional context about me. Uh, I already did this um, uh, before this uh, recording. Um, so I just gave it uh, our website and uh, recording like a podcast that I've been to. Um, this could be, as I said, anything. I just gave it um, as little as needed so that we can start. So if I go back now, you can see it's ready to generate. Um, so I can now um, let the uh, AI content agent start working on this. So let's click on generate now. And it's now creating my personalized content in the background. This will take up to 10 minutes because we prioritized quality over speed. So this is a very heavy lifting that we're doing here in the background. This is like brainstorming like all the different topics and looking into what's uh, working in your niche on LinkedIn right now and trying to combine 
everything that, you, that we have, like your previous posts and your strategy and the knowledge base and the LinkedIn trends to create really, really high quality uh, personalized post ideas for you. So instead of waiting, let's just uh, jump into the future like this. And what you see here are like my uh, personalized post ideas that have been generated for me. Um, here you can see the actual post drafts that are now in my inbox. I also get an email about it, like your post ideas already. Um, and these are complete finalized posts. This is super exciting because nobody ever did this before, in, especially in this uh, high quality way. So you can see here, these are uh, the post formats that I selected in my strategy or that uh, were uh, suggested for me. And uh, the different uh, topics of expertise that I set for myself. So this is highly personalized to you, but still based on our method. And all these posts, you can go through them, they're completely ready to post um, and exactly in your tone of voice based on all your history. You can go through them and upvote and downvote them. So we'll also learn over time. So if you don't like specific post formats or like the way it's written, you can just upvote and downvote. So we will learn over time and this will get even better and better. So now I have a lot of posts and I can go through them and that's amazing. That's already like way better than every, like what anyone on the market ever did before. And we're super proud of what we built here, but we are even deeper. We go even one step further. So we have a completely re rebuilt the content calendar that we had to make it specific for this content strategy and uh, how we're thinking content should be done. So you can see here in the calendar in this weekly view, that you can see my posting days and the, the time slots that are in here. So you can see that I already have the post for Wednesday and Friday in here, and you can see it for the next days, it suggests me automatically based on my strategy, the uh, content formats that I should post about. So for example, here it says, do a career before and after post. Um, or if I go to next week, I already have for Monday and Wednesday, the post planned, uh, it should says, you should do a team spotlight post and then an actionable guide and then in trends and analysis post. So I can just at all time, just click on this and it will give me all the options that it already generated or that we have like drafts for, for this specific post format. So I basically don't have to think at all. And if I don't have, for example, trends analysis, I don't have any posts. I can always look how this is done and, and it will help me to generate the post formats for me. So, this will help you to like basically reduce 99% of the thinking. You just know like what I should post about. It gives you the ideas. It helps you craft the posts. It like everything that you need to actually reach your goals. It's, it's just right there. And now if we, for example, um, want to generate a post that is not, um, in my weekly post ideas. So I have some idea. For example, we are just launching Scribe 2.0 and I want to do a post about it and it's almost not generated. So also here as the last part that I'm uh, going to show you, we completely reworked our system. So let's go and create posts. And this, uh, for everyone who used Scribe before, uh, probably looks familiar. And let's just do a very rough input, like Scribe 2.0 is live. Um, we have now weekly post ideas in your inbox, uh, AI content agent working 24 seven or you. Let's go. It's like the bare minimum of input. Like it has actually no idea. Like I, I just gave it uh, a few bullet points. So now analyze my input and looks at everything that I did before and my knowledge base and my strategy. And it detects, ah, it's a promotional post that I'm trying to do. And it gives me the hooks and you see, ah, it's automatically uh, detecting this as a launch announcement post. So it's like describe your point. I was live. Your AI content agent never sleeps. So it automatically knows the post formats and the uh, the content pillars. And because it has all the knowledge um, of what works on LinkedIn, it can help me to really fine tune these posts to the specific formats. So uh, let's go for this one. I just click on it and it will jump right into our editor and generate the full post exactly uh, with like all my um, previous knowledge and the um, viral LinkedIn post from LinkedIn specifically for this format. So you can see here, generates the full post. And um, if I want to change anything about this, I have the um, the editor right next to it where I can just uh, 
let it create more variations, change the tone, make it shorter, longer. So uh, this is really like, you basically have to do 1% of the thinking and editing um, to really get this done. So with that, I want to wrap it 